atmosphere. On Daymar slash Tatooine. See if I can bring it nice and low onto the deck and see who wants to play. Watch the atmosphere. Shields. <laughs> That's the ground, watch out! Oh! Nice! Target destroyed. Nice, nice, nice! <laughs> Where did you They're placing that ground there. Yeah. <laughs> How dare they? They put the ground. Oh, Dillion. Got a little bit, a little discombobulated on that turn there. Target destroyed. There we go. Turn, 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 turn. Let's see if he follows me. If he follows me to the ground. <laughs> Watch the ground! Watch the ground, you know! Oh! oh there's the deck! <laughs> there's the deck! Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a cool 3v1 fight we had on Daymar. Um, I was in the arrow and today I kind of just want to talk about situational awareness. Now, that's a buzz term that you probably have heard, you know, you've probably heard it a million times in our work lives, in our daily life. You know, it's like you've got to increase your situational awareness and blah blah blah, you know, it's just... um. I hate to say it, but it's kind of true. I mean, bunk, there goes, uh, there's the first uh, thunder. I mean, uh, he's very, very lucky that the wing and his Gladius took most of the hit uh, and that the atmosphere here on uh, Daymar is, uh, oh, I think it's only 0.4 that of one atmosphere. One atmosphere being basically uh, Earth's gravity. So it's 0.4 of Earth's gravity. And there's the splash in the chase, right? Uh, Again, turn around. We got a little more altitude this time, so the air pressure is not as not as high up here. Um, so I don't have to worry too too much about flying in the envelope, but I still feel it. You know, I still feel it at this altitude, right? And here I go into the corkscrew pattern again, right? Now I, I I risk it here. If I didn't get the kill here, I would have had to disengage because my shields are down and I was getting surrounded. It's just simply not worth it. But once I got the kill, then I knew, okay, I can I can bring this guy down to the deck here. I can kind of brawl with him a little bit. And here we go, in for the kill. Now, when it comes to, like, basic situational awareness, guys, I mean, I use Track IR 5 with the Pro Clip, which allows me to look around like you see, see here. But the best suggestion I can make, I mean, this might sound super cliche, but... Anytime you get close to the like to the to the deck, you know to the ground, just imagine like build yourself like an imaginary picture, um, and and try to visualize that as you're engaging. So as I'm engaging the talent here, I know okay he's headed straight for the ground. So I'm gonna pitch up, I'm gonna roll through, and unfortunately, our talent pilot was a little bit unaware of how fast he was going, and he thundered right into the ground. Right um, now, this happens. This happens all the time, and there's really no shame in it, guys. I mean, it's, it's happened to me. It's happened to basically everybody, um, and it's going to happen to you. Okay, so don't feel bad if it does happen. When I engage uh, any target, regardless of whether it's in atmosphere or in space, or whatever the case may be, I'm constantly trying to build this like imaginary mental picture as to where I'm moving, what's happening. Because it helps me visualize where I need to push, where I need to roll, and where I need to basically direct my vector. Now, we do have a little indicator. If you look just below 
on the left side of our uh, speed limiter, you'll see a little circle and there's a center dot inside and then there's a little white dot that's kind of moving around like a spherical pattern. Now what that represents is your velocity indicator. So it tells me the current direction that my ship is sliding in regardless of my orientation, right? So if you look here, my, my vector is actually down right now relative to where my nose is pointing. So I have to strafe up to return to center, which is something we talked about in a previous video, returning to center, right? Now that I've eliminated two of the three opponents, I have time to think about what I want to do here. Now I can fight them on high atmosphere, but it's nice sometimes, like especially in something like an arrow, which is absolutely fantastic for um, for atmospheric dogfighting. I mean, it really does sail through the air. It's beautiful, right? And if I if I keep my angle real low, and I keep it in on the deck, it kind of just becomes a game of who's going to make the first mistake, you know, who's throttle control, because right here, his throttle discipline was a bit too much, poof, and off he goes into the ground, right? So um, in that situation, he would have had to pitch his nose up to lose target on me to avoid slamming straight into the ground, right? But pretty self-explanatory, guys. It was a great fight. Um, it's, you know, it, it's a lot of fun to fight in atmosphere. We'll keep on making more. Um, you know, we have a lot of videos now on atmospheric dogfighting, so we can talk about things like art orientation, approach angle, you know, and all the basics, right? So, um, but this, this was an awesome fight. I had a lot of fun. Um, so keep training guys, 1% better every day, right? All right, guys, that was it for today. Nice, short, sweet video. Um, a, an awesome dog fight on the, on the sands of Daymar as we wait for Mandalorian season three to come out whenever that's going to come out. I think some of you guys are excited like I am for the book of Boba Fett. So we'll see if that's, uh, we'll see if that's exciting. Um, and, uh, take a look at predator mounts, folks. Uh, it's the ones I use. I find them to be absolutely fantastic. They're great. You can clip them on and off your desk. Uh, if you haven't flown with mounts and you have sticks, you are missing out. So use the code Avenger1 to get a discount and uh, get yourself some, some pretty wild, wild setups. All right, guys. I was Avenger1. I hope to see you guys all out for stream. Thank you, for, like, thank you so much for all the love and support. I can't wait to keep doing this stuff, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I was Avenger1, and I'll see you next time.